This is a series of videos. Please refer to methods of stitches, ignoring the yarn color. Select the corresponding yarn colors in your material package to learn. Please refer to both the videos and the instructional brochure during your crocheting process. Please make sure to first view the beginning 10 instructional videos to learn the basic methods of crocheting, and then view the instructional videos for your purchased product. The main body of pumpkin storage box. We'll use two strands of yellow yarn and a 4mm crochet hook. Beginners can watch the tutorial videos first and use the practice yarn in the kit to practice the basic stitches. Now wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. Pinch the yarn tail with your thumb and middle finger. Working into a chain. First, make a slip knot like this. For beginners who crochet for the first time, please use the matching practice yarn to practice basic stitches until you have mastered the methods before crocheting. In order to show the stitches more clearly, we'll use thicker yarn for demonstration. Working into a chain. Wrap the yarn around your fingers like this. Pinch the yarn end with your thumb and middle finger. Make a slip knot first. Place the hook on the right side of the yarn. Yarn around the hook in a counterclockwise direction. Pinch where the yarns cross with your thumb and middle finger. Yarn around the hook. Pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. Pull the yarn tail to tighten the loop. A slip knot is made. Twist the hook anti-clockwise and wrap the yarn. Then pinch a crossover of the yarn. Yarn around the hook and pull the yarn through the loop on hook. Then tighten the yarn tail. A slip knot is made. In row 1, we work 20 chain stitches. Yarn round hook and pull the yarn through the loop on hook. That's a chain stitch. Such a V-shape stands for one stitch. First, work a chain stitch. Yarn round hook. Pull the yarn through the loop on the hook. That's a chain stitch. Yarn round hook and pull the yarn through the loop on hook. That's a way to make the chain stitch. Now the second chain stitch is done. Keep working 18 more chain stitches. Yarn round hook, pull the yarn through the loop on hook. That's a way to make the chain stitch. We need to finish 20 chain stitches in total. Now, 20 chain stitches are finished. Row 1 is done. In row 2, turn and skip the first chain stitch, then work 3 single crochets, 4 half double crochets, 4 double crochets, 4 half double crochets, 2 single crochets, 2 slip stitches through back loops of the chain. Such a V-shape is 1 stitch. 
we skip the first chain and start to work through the back loops from the second chain. Insert hook into the back loop of the second chain. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop through the stitch. There are two loops on hook. Yarn round hook and pull the yarn through both loops on hook. That's a single crochet. Insert hook into a magic ring. Hook the yarn. Pull up a loop through the magic ring. There are two loops on the hook. Yarn round hook. Pull the yarn through both loops on the hook. One single crochet is done. Place a marker in the first stitch. Keep working two more single crochets. Insert hook into the next stitch, hook the yarn and pull up a loop through the stitch. There are two loops on hook. Yarn round hook, pull the yarn through both loops on hook. That's a way to make the single crochet. In the next stitch, also one single crochet. Three single crochets are finished. Next, work four half double crochets. Yarn round hook first. Insert hook into the next stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop through the stitch. There are three loops on hook now. Yarn round hook and pull the yarn through all three loops on hook. One half double crochet is down. Half double crochet. First, work two chain stitches. Then, turn over the fabric and we are going to work a half double crochet. Yarn round hook. Insert hook into a stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop through the stitch. There are three loops on the hook. Yarn round hook. Pull the yarn through all three loops on the hook. That's a half double crochet. Work three more half double crochets. Yarn round hook. Insert hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn round the hook again. Pull the yarn through all three loops on hook. That's a way to make the half double crochet. Work two more half double crochets in the same way. Now four half double crochets are finished. Next, work four double crochets. Yarn round hook. Insert hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. There are three loops on hook. Yarn round hook and pull the yarn through the first two loops. There are two loops left on hook. Yarn round hook, pull the yarn through both loops on hook. That's one double crochet. Double crochet. First, work three chain stitches. Two. Three chain stitches are finished. Turn over the fabric and we are going to make double crochet. Yarn round hook. Insert hook into the stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop through the stitch. There are three loops on the hook. Yarn round hook. Pull the yarn through the first two loops on the hook. There are two loops left on the hook now. 
yarn round the hook, pull the yarn through the remaining two loops on the hook. Keep working three more double crochets. Yarn round the hook, insert hook into next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn round the hook, pull the yarn through the first two loops. Yarn round the hook again, pull through the remaining two loops. That's one double crochet. Work two more double crochets in the same way. Yarn round the hook, insert hook into the next stitch and pull up a loop. Yarn round the hook, pull the yarn through the first two loops on hook. Yarn round the hook again, pull through the remaining two loops. That's a double crochet. Now four double crochets are finished. Next, work four half double crochets. Yarn round the hook, insert hook and pull up a loop. Yarn round the hook again, pull the yarn through all three loops. That's one half double crochet. Keep working three more half double crochets in the same way. Now the last half double crochet. Four half double crochets are finished. Next, work two single crochets. Insert hook into the next stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn round the hook. Pull the yarn through both loops on hook. That's one single crochet. In the next stitch, also one single crochet. Two single crochets are finished. Then two slip stitches. Insert hook into the next stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop through the stitch. Then pull the first loop on hook through the original one. That's one slip stitch. In the next stitch, also work one slip stitch. Two slip stitches are finished. Row two is done. Slip stitch. Insert hook into the next stitch. Hook the yarn and pull up a loop through the stitch and also pull it through the original loop on the hook. That's a slip stitch.